Welcome back to your channel, everybody. This is Maple Bacon here. We are playing Alaskan Road Truckers, and we're coming up on the winter course. Another trailer. Now this is a uh, this is a smaller one here. I think this is only a two-hour gig. But uh, if you haven't seen any gameplay of the winter time in Alaskan Road Truckers, then you are in for a treat. Now, if you didn't know that I'm actually from Canada, so I am well familiar with driving in the snow and uh, with the struggle of not really being able to see the road or seeing anything that's actually happening. Now, this is a very typical thing. Most of us are pretty used to it, to be honest. Um, but in this game, obviously, it is a game. But it really does re recreate the um, terror of driving in the winter quite well ways um, with also being just a video game and it also still needs a little bit of work but anyways so first I am just picking up this trailer like I said this is a, actually a pretty quick one it's only an hour and 55 minutes away from here I believe so we're gonna hook up these connections of course you got to get your green hooked up first and then you're gonna hook up the red it actually doesn't matter which direction you do it in, but usually I do with the green and red. And then we're going to uh, obviously put up our jacks. Um, and once we're done with that, we're going to set up our GPS and get it all ready to go. Okay, perfect. So I'm actually running the second truck available in the game right now. Um, the next truck is 80,000. I think I'm sitting on about 50k right now. It is quite difficult. So here, let's let's fire up this engine here. And let's first gear out. Let's take off right first, and then we'll kick it into first gear. All right. So we are one hour and 42 minutes away. So we got a stop sign. It is snowing right now. Okay. Obviously, you always gotta swing it out wide. So once you get on the snow and you get in with your trailer, it is extremely difficult to stay on the road. You know, ever since it has switched to winter, I to my it has switched to winter. I have um, already totaled one trailer entirely, and uh, it's obviously it's been a little bit of a challenge because the trailer will slide off the road. I mean. The thing is, like, in this game, like, it gives you a certain amount of time to do a trip. Well, at first, I thought, yeah, I got plenty of time. I get there with four hours left. And, wow, like, this game gives you way too much time. It gives you way too much time with the trailer, but then once you get into the winter time and you have to drive, you know, 30 kilometers an hour, or miles per hour, rather, miles per hour around every bend, then you start realizing where the time crunch is going to be happening, right? So, where are my lights at? Where are my lights at? Oh wait, I have no lights. Um, yeah, I must have busted all of them. I knew I busted one of the lights, but I have no lights. So anyways, as you can see, like I said, I didn't bust up my truck pretty good. So, when you're going around beds and stuff, I don't know if you ever go in the snow, like, you will slide off the road. Like, this, I mean, I would say it's fully realistic. Obviously, I don't drive a transport in real life. Um, I've driven tractors and everything else, but transports, I have not. Now, if you're around the beds, if you go shift, say you want to slow down a little bit, usually a nice little downshift, probably from 8 to 6. If you went from 8 to 6 on that turn right there, you'd get thrown off faster than you can even imagine, like you'd be off the road before you can do it. Um, you can downshift one, and you'll still skid out a little bit, but you can't downshift two gears at a time, you'll just literally go right off the road, which is pretty realistic. Obviously, there's also the outside view for the truck. I do enjoy playing the game from the inside view because it's more realistic, though this view is obviously very cool. I mean, to see like the snow and everything, like, you know, it's a nice view, but from the inside, you get like a full trucker experience. So. Um, I do enjoy like obviously driving in the snow a lot more than just driving around in the summer, just because, you know, it feels very at home, you know, it feels very Canadian. Obviously, this is Alaskan road truckers. I wish it was Canada road truckers, but they didn't make one of those. 
far as I know. So, but yeah, no, it's actually uh, quite an extra of a challenge. You really gotta watch out how fast you're going. I did put the best tires on the truck that I could get, but it's still not enough. It didn't say winter tires, it just they were the ones with the best grip. As you can see, I'm going 30 on this vent, and I could have almost lost it there. Like here, I could slip out a bit, which is why I have been sixth. The seventh, I didn't think you could make it around the turn. Now something that's pretty funny about this game too. The snow is it's kind of realistic, but it's also a little bit unrealistic. Where are the plows? Like they do plow the road, you know, like so obviously you're not gonna have a foot of snow on the road all the time. That would be ridiculous. I mean nobody would even be on the road anymore mostly. They'd all be in the ditch. Obviously, there's got to be plows, so that would make it more realistic if they have plows or snowblowers or something to do up the road. But other than that, it's pretty cool. Some areas have a foot of snow. Some areas have, you know, half a foot, three inches, and some of them just it's like a fine coat, which is obviously realistic. So I do like that. That's cool. What did I just see? <laughs> that, wait, why did that car just disappear? Anyways, I don't know. But a funny joke that kind of goes on around here in Canada is um, once it starts snowing, you start getting like your first good snowball. Like, okay, not, not like the first one, but like the third one, maybe like the first good snowball, right? Everybody makes a joke of, hey, it's time to play the game of I can't see the road and I don't know where I'm going. Well, the funny thing is you're actually playing that game while you're playing this game because there is no lines and you can't see it. It's pretty fun though. Um, red light, okay, it's green light. Here we go. Down here. Make this wide right turn. We're going to be blocking it for a left turn. Yes, okay, so it's a pretty quick, pretty quick trailer. It doesn't pay much. Also, one thing I wish they would fix about this game is the mirrors. I did mention this in my video about this game. The mirrors run at very low frame rate. As you can see, it's really weird. Anyways, if they didn't run like that, I would use my mirrors to back in my trailer, just like real life. But because the mirrors are so odd, and like the frame rates is like running so low, it's like hard to even use them. Like, I to use the mirrors then in real life, like, because it's so insane to you how the graphics are glitched out. So I, I always throw it in third person mode when I'm backing my trailer in, because I, I just can't, I can't even look in those mirrors and know where my trailer's going. As you can see, I still can't see it. Very clearly. Put it in reverse. You can feel that the, the truck will slip a little bit in the winter, like once you get the snow on the ground and you're backing in, you will feel that it slips if you notice it. It's very attention to detail, like the, the mechanics they set up for the snow is really good. It's really intuitive. Alright, here we are. So, anyways, I think that's pretty impressive. Obviously, that's really good. Um... I really wish they would fix this. It's so janky. I do love it. I love taking the wires out and everything. It's awesome, but it's so janky. Okay. I take those out, and then the next thing you have to do is you have to put your jack stands down, lock them in, and there we go. And then you can just unhook the trailer and you're good to go. So the guy's way over there. Sometimes I'll walk over. But since my truck is way behind the building, I left my wipers on. Anyway, so I'll just drive over there. I don't really want to walk over there. And I'll also have to walk back to get my truck anyways. So. I thought it would be nice to just make a nice little quick video about this game. Because it was a lot of fun. I do plan on playing it quite a bit. I really hope they keep updating it. I hope they uh, keep putting more work into it and try to make it even better than it already is. It's obviously... A really good game, but 
then you need to keep working on it too because it could be one of the best games ever Alrighty, there you go and your trailer's here five stars let's go and uh it's about two grand not bad not bad the old truck just keeps on ripping it well if you enjoyed this video please subscribe to the channel and smash that like button and you thank you so much for watching watch out for the next video have a good day bye bye